this video we're going to discuss the different types of drainage. This is uh, especially important for a new nursing stu student getting ready to go into the clinical setting because you're going to want to know how to describe your patient's wound and your patient's wound dressing when you take it off in your uh, documentation. So we're going to cover four types of drainage. The first type of drainage we're going to cover is serous, then serous sanguinous, then sanguinous, and then purulent. So serous, this is a clear or pale yellow, kind of like a straw color uh, fluid, and it's a normal part of the healing process, nothing to worry about. Serous sanguinous is pink in color, and this is due to the red blood cells in the serous fluid. It's a normal process, it's a normal part of the healing process. You can remember what this is by just looking at the word and combining the word sero sanguinous. If you add the serous fluid, which is white, with a little bit of sang, uh, sanguinous fluid, which is red, you're going to have a fluid that's uh, pink in color. So, next one would logically be sanguinous fluid, which is red drainage. This is uh, as a result of damage to blood vessels and it may occur with wound cleansing or other trauma that's being added to the wound even, uh, even after the wound has initially taken place. Another uh, scenario where you can see sanguinous drainage is when your patient is on anticoagulants. When they are trying to uh, heal their wound, if they're post-op or have had an injury, Anticoagulants can also off, often result in uh, sanguinous fluid being sanguinous fluid being uh, uh, saturated throughout the wound dressing when you take it off. In such case, you're going to want to document this, and you're going to want to bring it up to the physician's attention that the patient is experiencing significant amounts of sanguine sanguinous drainage, and it could be as a result of the fact that they are on anticoagulants that are preventing the clotting process from occurring. The last type of drainage we're going to cover is purulent and this is a drainage that is yellow or gray or green and it's usually a thick liquid. Often it can be described as milky and this is a sign of infection. So if, if you suspect that your patient has purulent drainage, you're going to want to document it immediately and bring it to the physician's attention.